ever pondered how a series of events could lead to the sudden end of a war that lasted for two decades. Our tale today begins in the throes of the Vietnam War, a conflict that spanned a generation, etching deep scars into the fabric of both Vietnamese and American societies. This was a war of attrition, a war of ideologies, a war that would redefine the concept of warfare itself. The Paris Peace Accords, signed in early 1973, promised a cessation of hostilities, a glimmer of hope in a landscape of despair. Yet this supposed peace was short-lived. The ink barely dried on the agreement when the North Vietnamese Army launched a large-scale offensive in early 1975. This blitzkrieg was met with shock and disarray, leading to the rapid collapse of South Vietnamese resistance. The stage was now set for a dramatic conclusion in Saigon. Imagine a city in chaos, the enemy at the gates, and the clock ticking down to disaster. This was the grim reality of Saigon in April 1975. Fear and uncertainty hung in the air as the North Vietnamese forces inched ever closer. The South Vietnamese and Americans in the city were gripped by panic and desperation. In the midst of this turmoil, the US launched Operation Frequent Wind, a daring evacuation mission. This was no ordinary extraction. It was the largest helicopter evacuation in history. Thousands of people were airlifted from various points in the city, including the US Embassy. Despite the chaos, the operation was a beacon of hope, a lifeline for those fearing the impending takeover. Yet, amidst the flurry of rotor blades and the rush of desperate escape, there was an undeniable sense of an ending. As the last helicopter left the US Embassy, a chapter of history was closing. What happens when a city falls and a war ends not with a bang, but with a whimper? This is exactly what transpired on April 30, 1975, as North Vietnamese troops marched into Saigon, meeting little to no resistance. The once bustling city fell almost silently, its spirit shattered by years of relentless conflict. In the immediate aftermath, a new chapter for the city was penned. Saigon, a name resonating with its colonial past, was rechristened as Ho Chi Minh City, in honor of the late North Vietnamese leader. This was a symbolic gesture, underscoring a significant shift in the nation's trajectory. But the echoes of war were far-reaching and profound. For the Vietnamese people, the end of the war did not necessarily mean the dawn of peace. They faced a new set of challenges, including economic hardship, political repression, and social dislocation. The fall of Saigon marked not only the end of a war, but the beginning of a new era for Vietnam. What can we learn from the fall of Saigon, and how does it shape our understanding of the Vietnam War? The fall of Saigon was an intricate mosaic of events, a culmination of a series of actions, reactions, and consequences. The prelude to the fall was a time of escalating tension, as forces moved closer, and the inevitable seemed just around the corner. The final days were a testament to human spirit and desperation, as people scrambled to escape the impending doom. The fall itself was a pivotal point in history, marking the end of the Vietnam War and beginning a new chapter for Vietnam. The aftermath was a time of reflection, rebuilding, and dealing with the harsh realities of a war-torn nation. From these events, we learn the value of diplomacy over aggression, the importance of understanding cultural nuances, and the devastating impact of war on innocent lives. The fall of Saigon serves as a poignant reminder of the human cost of war and the unpredictable nature of history.